Hi, my name's Sophie and I'm from Talking to Trees. Today we'll be doing a Pilates inspired workout that will work your full body, especially the glutes and your core. For today's workout, you will need a TheraBand, but if you don't have one, it's only for squats um, in our core workout and you can definitely do squats without the TheraBand. So maybe you can just do it without and you'll still definitely get a workout through the glutes. We're going to start off on our backs today and start off with a little bit of core, which we will repeat after we do the glutes. So we'll have many, many options and if you'd like to stick with the lower options, then absolutely go for that. And if you want to challenge yourself today, then you can take it to the next level. So we'll start off on our backs. Bend your knees and keep your feet flat on the floor and just relax and find a little bit of length through the back of the neck. In Pilates, we breathe into the rib cage rather than into the belly. So if you like, keep your hands on your belly between both hip bones and feel that drawing in of the lower belly towards the spine and feel that pull up from the pelvic floor towards the belly button. Try to keep that nice and strong as you breathe in and breathe into the rib cage. Inhale through the nose and exhale, you should feel your rib cage sliding down the body towards the hips. Belly is still strong the whole time. Inhale through your nose. And exhale, ribs to hips. One last time, inhale through the nose. And exhale through pursed lips. From here, keeping the belly nice and strong, feel it draw in, bring the hands behind the head and lace the fingers. We're going to work for a chest lift or a normal abdominal curl. Feel the belly draw towards the spine and as you exhale, you tuck the chin, lift the chest, lift the upper back up off the floor, but only so far that you still keep your neutral spine. Inhale, slowly lower back down. Exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. So here you want the spine to be natural and neutral and you don't want to feel as if you have to slam the lower back down and towards the floor. We don't need to lift high, you just need to feel the contraction of your rib cage sliding down towards the hips and your belly button drawing in, the lower belly flattening out. Exhale and inhale. So you may have heard me talk about the bulge in the belly. Right now, maybe not so much, but every time you contract through the core, maybe the abdominals on the surface start to work and you start to feel or see a little bulge in the belly. And as I've said before, it's not breakfast, it's not lunch, it's actually your abdominals working and the ones on the surface working. The ones that we don't so much need to work, we need to work the lower, deeper abdominals underneath. So if you feel or you see this happening, be super aware. Curl up, look down at the belly, draw it in so it's strong and then inhale lower. Exhale up, have a look, draw in, narrow out through the lower belly and inhale release. So just five more, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, three, Two, and last one, exhale up, inhale lower. This time your left knee is going to lift as you slowly lift your upper body to twist and curl towards the left knee. Keep your right elbow way back and feel as if you're leading with your right nipple or your right armpit towards the knee rather than your elbow. Inhale, release the head. Exhale, left nipple to right knee. Inhale, release the head. So the feet are still on the floor. You've got quite a bit of uh, work through the obliques, but you have support through the lower back because the feet are not yet lifted. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. So often at the gym, we see people closing off their bodies and trying to touch elbow to knee. Instead in Pilates, you want your chest to be nice and broad and open so you can still breathe into the rib cage. And the twist comes from rib to hip. So this twist across the body rather than knee and elbow connecting. 
We'll go for five more. Four. Three. Two. And last one, exhale up, inhale lower. So you can stay with that or if you feel okay and you know you're strong to take the legs up off the floor, we'll come to tabletop position. From here, this promotes that belly bulging. So still drawing in the lower belly, feeling the connection between both hip bones. Lower back is just lightly pressing down towards the floor. Not so much that you've completely tilted your pelvis in the other direction, but a drawing in so the lower back is a little bit more protected and closer to the mat. Here, lacing the fingers behind the head and we'll repeat again our normal chest lift or abdominal curl. Exhaling up, looking down, belly drawing in and inhale to lower. So if you've tried this a couple of times and you can see that you're getting the belly bulge or there's any pain or strain in the lower back, please take the safer option of placing the feet on the floor to support the lower back. Exhale to curl, inhale release. Let's go for 10, exhale up and inhale lower. Exhale and inhale. You want your legs ideally on this 90 degree angle. If you feel like there's a little bit too much work through the front of your quads, you can drop your heels. So the work will be less through the quads, but you're still working through the lower belly up to you take options that work best for your body so you can work effectively and safely let's go for four more inhale release three two and last one now, like we did before, a little twist towards the left hand side. The knees stay together in tabletop and your right elbow opens. Your hips are level, so no glutes are lifting up off the floor. Inhale, release the head. Exhale over to the right. Inhale, release. So if you need an option like we did before, you can do this with your feet on the floor or you'll stay for six more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, four, three, two, and last one, exhale up, inhale lower. Now bringing your hands down to rest on your lower belly, working to feel for the belly drawing in and flattening out. Extend your left leg long and straight, only on a 45 degrees, no lower. Notice that your right knee stays tracking right on top of the hip. Inhale, bring the left leg back. Exhale, right leg. Inhale, back. So this is where we're making a longer lever with the leg. The bigger abdominal muscles, the show off abdominal muscles on the surface start to bulge and work. And the lower abdominal muscles, which are usually weaker, miss out on the action. So give them a chance at working and take the leg a little higher and start to draw the belly in so you can flatten out through the core. Exhale right, inhale back. You can work at a slower pace in your own time if you like or we're gonna go for 10 a little faster. 10, inhale, exhale, nine, six, five, four, three, two and one legs to tabletop hands sweep behind your head extend your right leg long and straight and exhale the body up towards the left knee check out left knee on top of left hip and right elbow is open inhale to release the head exhale other side <sighs> inhale to release exhale twist <sighs> inhale and exhale <sighs> Inhale, rest, and exhale, curl. So we'll go for five more at this pace. Always good to know that you have that release of the head and the body back to tabletop if you need a break. Four, three, two, 
and last one. And then here's the challenge. Inhale through centre, exhale, hold. Inhale through centre, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. We'll go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Rest the head. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Take a few deep breaths. If you like, you can stretch your legs out nice and long. And we'll do what you're not allowed to do in Pilates. Relax the belly and flare the ribs. Then slowly, slowly draw the knees back in towards the chest. So we've worked through your crisscross and we slowly made our way all the way to the final exercise. Now we're going to work into double leg stretch and single leg stretch. And then once we've done our glutes, we'll put it all together. So from this position, single leg stretch, grab hold of your right knee and just stretch your left leg out long and straight. So you can feel a nice stretch through the hip flexors. If it's too much, you can bend the left knee and put the left foot on the floor. Then inhale to swap legs and exhale to draw in. Inhale to swap legs and exhale to draw in. So the same thing, if it's easier for you to have one leg on about a 45 degree angle rather than lower down towards the floor because this helps your lower back, then please take that option. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Whatever position you like with your hands, maybe you like to lace your fingers, or you have one on the knee and one on the shin. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. From here, if this is enough for you, you can stay. We start to bring in two little pulses. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So little pulses down the bottom. Then if you'd like to work a little further, start to lift the head and shoulders, nose towards the knee and belly drawing in. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Go for 10, 9, 8, 7, little higher, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Both knees in towards the chest and see if you can push the knees away so they're not, rather than drawing knees in, you're pushing knees away and holding the belly in. Double leg stretch from here. Legs go out long on the 45, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, sweep the arms around, grab the knees and feel yourself lift a little higher. Inhale to reach. Exhale, circle round. If you need a break in the neck, head and shoulders, release the head, inhale, exhale, you can come back up. Inhale, release the head and neck, exhale, you can come back up. We've got 10, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Slowly releasing the head, hug the knees in towards the chest, and just to relax the neck, a little rock of the head from side to side. And then slowly rocking yourself up to seated. We're going to work into our glutes now and we've got three levels. So we need you down onto your belly and legs out long. From here you can just stack one hand on top of the other and for now if you just rest your cheek so that you can look and have a look at my demonstration. From here when you are on your belly and you're lifting a leg, it's really easy to lift into the lower back. So if you feel like your leg is lifting really high, it's probably because you're using your back extensors rather than using your glutes. So be really sure that you feel your belly button move away from the mat and you feel your tailbone descend down towards your inner thighs rather than up towards the sky. So belly drawing in, 
pubic bone pressing down and glutes are squeezing. Don't squeeze your glutes so much that you lose your underpants between your pants. You just want a light squeeze, so just a little bit of perkiness. From here, you'll rest your forehead down when you eventually get the hang of the exercise, but for now, just keep it lifted so you can see. You'll tuck your right toes under and your left and just rest the knees so they relax on the floor. Feel your belly button draw in and away from the mat and the pubic bone press down lightly towards the mat. Then lift the right knee up off the floor and you'll feel your right glute switch on and lift up off the hamstring. Then keep the right knee lifted where it is and slowly point the toe, leg is still working. Curl the toes slowly under, ball of the foot to the floor. And then you get to lower the knee and the butt cheek relaxes. To lift the knee, you feel the butt cheek squeeze. Keep the knee lifted, point the toe. Tuck the toe back under, keep the knee at that same height and then slowly lower the knee. So when you're ready, you can rest forehead down, lift the knee, point the toe. Tuck the toes, lower the knee. Lift, point, tuck, and lower. So as you move through, maybe there are times where you start to focus only on the belly button. So maybe here, when you point the toe, draw the belly button in, then curl the toes and lower. You should start to feel a warming through the side and upper part of the glute. And always, always thinking about the lower back, not so much working, but finding length through these poses. So belly button drawing in to protect the lower back and working the glutes, feeling the glute lift so you know that it's that, your bottom, that is lifting the leg here rather than the lower back. We'll go for five. Four. Three. And just so you don't get into the lower back even more, I suggest you do rest your forehead down. Just for me, so that I can speak to you guys, I'm gonna keep my head lifted. Two. And your last one, you're going to lift the knee and point the toe. Keep the toe lifted, keep the toe pointed. Draw and scoop the belly in, and it's the tiniest little pulses. You pulse so that you don't arch the lower back. It comes from the squeeze in the glutes. Pulsing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here you're going to flex the foot and then bend the knee. And the same thing, draw the belly in and away from the mat and pulse from the glute and the hamstring for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then slightly draw the knee out on an angle. Draw the heel in a little closer. Adjust the tailbone as you tuck the tailbone under slightly and pubic bone presses down and you pulse here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Draw the knee back in, release the foot, curl the toe under and we work the other side. So both knees connected, left toes tuck, lift the left knee. Keep the belly drawing away, point the toe, keep the left knee at that height. Curl the toes back under, knee stays the same, slowly lower the knee. Lift the knee, point the toe, curl the toes, lower the knee. Lift the knee, point the toe, curl the toes, lower the knee. Knee, toes, toes and knee for five and four, three, two and last one lift the knee point the toe keep the toe and the leg at that height and little pulses ten nine eight seven six five four three two one flex the foot draw the heel towards your bottom adjust the pelvis so the belly draws in pubic bone works down towards the mat and pulse for ten 
nine. So don't be alarmed if your knee doesn't lift up off the floor. You don't want to lift the knee and compromise the lower back. You only want to work to a height that you know is coming from your glute and not from your lower back. Three, two, one. Then knee comes a little wider on the diagonal. Heel in towards the bottom, adjust the spine. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Replace the knee, replace the foot, and then hands underneath the shoulders. And we're gonna push up to all fours. We're going to keep the work going. So hands come underneath the shoulders, knees come underneath your hips, and your belly is in nice and tight. So again, you don't want to sag through the lower back. You can have a nice neutral slope, but don't let the back arch any more than usual. Left leg stays where it is and right leg reaches back. Have a little look underneath you. Right hip is in line with left, so nice and level. Then slide your left hand forward so the fingers are pointing down towards the floor. And as you breathe in, go for a little lift. Fingers and toes reach away. Exhale, lower. Little lift and lower. Belly drawing in, lift and lower. So promoting length rather than height with the lift of the leg and trying not to increase the arch in the lower back. And that comes from drawing the belly button in. Exhale, five, four, three, two, and last one, lift. Hold the leg there, but replace your left hand to the floor and find a nice steady plank with the right leg lifted. Here, point the toe and you're just going to pulse like we did when we were on our belly. Although we have a lot more space underneath our belly now, so it's a lot easier to arch into the lower back. So please keep the pulses nice and small and feel them coming just from the glute. Five, four, three, two, one. Here, flex the foot. Curl the foot in towards the butt and keeping the knee at that height, point the toe and slowly lengthen the leg back. Flex the foot and draw in, point the toe, slowly lengthen. Flex and in, point and lengthen. Flex and in, point and lengthen. Six, five, four, Three, two, and last one. Flex and in. From here, pulse, heel towards the sky for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee out slightly towards the side and pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, right knee down and then slowly pushing back to child's pose. You should need a little stretch through the glutes here. Your right leg is the leg we're working. Shift your bottom to the right and walk your hands over to the left. Three deep breaths, reaching your right fingers away. And last one. Slowly back to center, resting the forehead down towards the floor. And then slowly back up to kneeling. This time working your left leg. So again, resetting, knees underneath the hips, hands right underneath your shoulders. Keep your right leg where it is this time and left leg stretches out nice and long. Have a look at the hips. One straight line. Then your right arm can reach out in front and it's an exhale to lift. And inhale to lower. Exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
for five, four, three, two, and last one. Then right hand can come back to the floor. Set it up so that it's right underneath the shoulders and left leg is lifting. Flex the foot and little pulses. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Making sure that left hip doesn't lift higher than right. And belly is drawing in nice and strong. Feel the heel push back behind you. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Then bending the knee. Keep the knee at this height, draw the belly in, point your toe, and then exhale, straighten. Flex the foot, draw it in. Point the toe and slowly straighten the leg. Flex the foot and in, point the toe, straighten the leg. Go for six, five, four, three, two, and one, holding in, little pulses, heel of the foot to the sky, pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, open slightly wider to the side and pulse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, left knee down, bottom back to heels. Shift the bottom to the left side and walk your arms over to the right. Stretch your left fingers further. Two more breaths. Then slowly back to centre. Forehead works down towards the floor. Maybe the bottom settles a little closer to your heels. And then slowly lifting the head. And you're gonna bring yourself to a standing position so we can finish off the glute work. So if you have one, grab your TheraBand. You're going to step into the TheraBand like it's a pair of pants and place the band just above the knees. Take your feet nice and wide so you come and get ready for a squat position. The belly is drawing in tight and there's still a neutral spine, so a natural curve in the lower back, but not too much that you put pressure in the back. So that comes from the belly drawing in nice and strong. Inhale and slowly lower yourself down to the bottom of your squat and the TheraBand is here to help you push your knees wide so they track over second and third toe. So there's work in the glutes here to open your knees up. Inhale as you lower and exhale to press to standing. Inhale slowly lower, knees push wide, wide, wide. Exhale back up to standing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, belly drawing in, we're pushing and hinging at the hips. Exhale. Then it's the same thing as we've done before. To bring ourselves up, we need to push our heels down. So inhale to come down. Exhale to push through the heels to bring yourself to standing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Four more slow like this. Three. Two. And last one. So come down and then this time just come halfway up and halfway down. Halfway up and halfway down. Just for 10, nine. Belly always drawing in, protect the lower back. Five four, three, two, and one, slowly holding down, belly drawing in. Here, it's the smallest movement, I should hardly be able to see it, but your knees are just pressing a little wider, so 10 tiny little pulses, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one, hold them wide, press a little deeper and then slowly up to standing. If you're game, maybe you could go another round on your own. If you're ready to finish off, take your TheraBand off and we'll come back down to our seat for our core work. So we went through most of the exercises, our crisscross, our double leg stretch and our single leg stretch. We're going to go through a round where we repeat those exercises again. So please go back and remember your options if you needed your feet on the floor. Lay yourself down. We'll go back to the breath just for three counts. So spining your nice neutral spine. And then feeling the belly draw in, activate the lower belly muscles and breathe into your rib cage. Two more deep breaths. And last one. We start off with lacing our fingers behind our head and we've got six abdominal curls. You can curl with your feet on the floor or start off in tabletop position. Exhale, draw the belly in, flatten out the lower belly and inhale, slowly lower. Exhale, five. Inhale. Four. Inhale. Three. Two. And last one, exhale up. Inhale down. Six bicycle legs. Exhale, extend one leg. Inhale, bring back. Exhale. Inhale. Four. Three. See the leg is still on a 45 degrees. You could even do this with one foot on the floor and one foot long. Two. And last one. This time extending one leg, six crisscross. Exhale, inhale through centre. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to centre, hug one knee in towards the chest. Other leg goes long and straight. Six single leg stretch. Curl up, double exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Four, five, six, double leg stretch, reach the upper body a little further, inhale, reach out long, exhale, circle around, five, four, three, two, one, and then last round, legs to tabletop, and we'll repeat. Exhale, six abdominal curls. Inhale, release. Exhale, five. Inhale, four. Three. Two. And one. This time a little faster, bicycle leg, six. Five, four, three, two, one, into crisscross, six, five, four, three, two, one, single leg stretch, inhale, exhale, three to go, last one, double leg stretch, Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle. Four. Three. I feel like maybe we could do one more round. Two. Good things come in threes. One. Last round. Abdominal curl for six. Exhale, up. Four to go. Three, two, and one. Release the head, bicycle legs. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Crisscross. Six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Single leg, release the head, curl, double pump. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. <laughs> two, one. Double leg. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Four to go. Three, two, last one. Release the head, hug the knees in. Hopefully that gave you a good workout. A nice long stretch of legs and arms. Close the eyes, three deep breaths. And then slowly taking a rock all the way up to your seated position. Your hair should be as messy and you should be as sweaty as I am right now. So I hope you enjoyed your workout. I'm Sophie from Talking to Trees and thank you very much.